Okay, we're getting onto the Beltway. It's raining, it's traffic, it's Mother's Day weekend. Let's see what we can do. I'm putting this, letting this thing do everything by itself, including navigate on autopilot. We're already having a problem here, whoa. All right, I'm gonna bump up the speed to 60 miles an hour. What do you think, is that good? Look at the traffic's barely moving. And all this rain, the splash from the rain, this ought to be interesting. You think we'll make it out alive? Yes. Let me know in the comments right now if you think we'll make it out without getting in an accident. How about without, listen, without an accident, right? That's different than being alive. I think we'll live no matter what, because these Tesla cars are pretty safe. But we gotta get out of this lane. We're on Navigator on Autopilot, but it's not getting me out of this lane. And this is a mess with traffic. They better get me out. That, that rental truck ahead of me is starting to signal. But it's still not getting me out. We're on, we are on Navigator on Autopilot, I see it there. Why, is not, why isn't it getting me out? Do I need to get out of this lane? No, okay, it's already messed up. Okay, the system, look, it would have taken me off the road. That's messed up. Let me, I wanna move over two lanes of traffic because I don't wanna be behind this rental van the whole time. Now we'll turn it back on. That was a mistake right there. We're on 2012 point, wait, 2019 point 12.1.2. And obviously that made a mistake. It's made a mistake in the other direction here coming from Maryland into Virginia too. Oh, this, this van, look at this truck is weaving out of its lane. I hope it doesn't hit us. Look, oh my gosh. All right, now here we go. We're, we're on the American Legion Bridge. We're about to get on the American Legion Bridge. You can barely even see it because of all the rain, the road spray. Look at this eight, the semi next to me. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's an Amazon truck. So we're heading from Northern Virginia into Maryland now. And we're gonna be going around the most difficult part of the Beltway also. Like when you get near Silver Spring, it turns into like almost like a banked racetrack with a bunch of quick curves. And then we're gonna be getting onto 95 North from there, which won't be as eventful, but this area is gonna be pretty eventful, I think. Okay, now we're in Maryland. You can't really see much at all out of that rear view camera. Now how does autopilot see out of these cameras in the rain like this? If I can barely see anything out of that rear view camera, and you're looking right, right at it, how can they see anything more than me? What do you think, Denise? How can that computer process anything out of that camera in the back? For looking in the back, it's it's constantly looking through. Yeah, it's looking through the. Well, the, don't you think the side cameras have are uh, distorted because of the rain too? Somebody's hitting the brakes here. It's hard to even tell where the lanes are, the lane markings. So far, it seems to be doing a pretty good job, though.
Nobody's really going 60 miles an hour right now. It's probably a good thing. Now that car's moving out of the way, let's see if we speed up. Yep, there we go. I don't think that the autopilot adjusts any kind of top speeds based on weather conditions. It just uses the, the, the regular speed limits. So it doesn't really pay any attention to weather conditions, which is unusual. You think it, it, it must know. I know it knows because the wipers are going in front of those cameras. They're going right in front of the cameras right there. It knows I'm using the wipers. It knows it can't see as well as the cameras. You'd think it would maybe pull back on the top speed it would allow you to do, but it doesn't. But I'm sure that in the future they'll probably do that. Let me know in the comments if you think that's going to happen. Well, this 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 is a fast corner for for the road conditions anyway. Whoa. That, that was just a, a 270 spur that went north. And we, we have a whole video series of us going down that spur from north to south. And in about a mile or so here, the, the spur will connect on the left with bringing people down from 270 south that are heading our direction. So it's going to be kind of hopefully uneventful in this section here, it should be, until we get to that spur. It's probably about a mile or less than a mile now where, we're, where the spur is going to merge in from the left. And that's going to be a lot more traffic with it. Okay, here we go. This is going to get difficult now. I'm just going to leave the speed where it is. And hopefully we won't crash. Denise, let me know if anything's going on that i got to be aware of. This is it. Alright, the cars are moving in from the left. You see them right there? They're moving in from the left. Whoa, someone's broken window. Yeah, that one, that one was signaling, but it didn't didn't make the turn. Thank God it would have turned right into me. Whoa. I hope my headlights are working. People can see me. And I'm, I've only got it set at 60 miles an hour, remember, it's just that it, the conditions are terrible right now with the heavy rain. So no one's even going 60 but me. This is where it gets bank, these bank corners, almost like a racetrack. This is the section right here. Is this the inner loop or the outer loop? Inner.
Everybody's really slowing down. We're at 44 miles an hour now. And actually, we're in the fastest moving lane. We're passing people on the left lane. I guess everyone's just getting out of the way of the truck in front of me. Is that a caffeine pill? Yep. Your videos are too boring. They are? Mm -hmm. Oh man. You guys need caffeine pills to watch my videos? That Let me know. Busy for Sunday. Yeah. Oh, this is the heavy rain. It's gonna slow everything down. We're going forty we're going forty two miles an hour there. And actually that feels it felt kind of fast, even at forty two, because the there's really some heavy rain right now and, and quite a few cars. And trucks. Uh oh, this truck, look at that. Look at that turn. That lane change. This, this is going to be challenging here for a while. This whole part of the Beltway is difficult to drive, even on a regular basis, without rain. There's the Woman Temple up there. You can see it in the rain. Or maybe not. It's hard to get. I'm trying to make sure the white balance is right on this for the vision in front of me, but it's so hard to keep it there because it keeps changing with all the water coming off all the cars. Yeah, but this is way better than it used to be. I would never have wanted to try this, I don't think, on previous versions, like a year or two ago. It's doing really good. And, and when people have cut me off, you know, like that truck was a, cut me off a little bit, it didn't, it wasn't late to react or not react at all like it, it's done in the past. I gotta get out of this lane. Let's see, autopilot will let me turn. Yeah, they're gonna let me turn. Cut off that, oh, no it won't. It wouldn't turn to cut off that BMW. Is that BMW gonna let me? Yeah, okay, well that's interesting. <laughs> How that worked. I guess the, that car backed off just, just enough so their autopilot felt comfortable making the lane change. I don't know why it didn't change me, but I just don't, don't wanna stay in that slow lane. It's, it's, that makes a really boring video if I stay in the slow lane. Now a Navigator and Autopilot is going to have to move me over a couple lanes when we get to 95. Hopefully it'll do it. Maybe it'll start moving me over ahead of time, I don't know. We're in Silver Spring now. That's, that's Holy Cross Hospital up there, if you recognize it. That's where Thomas was born. I think one of the guys from Hootie and the Blowfish is also born there, I read. We're gonna start picking up some speed here. Oh, the autopilot's not sure what to do. It's kind of yeah.
somebody right next to me also. You can see in the screen there. They're just hanging in my blind spot. Not a good place to hang out. Or anybody's blind spot for that matter. And I think that autopilot, I've said this before, autopilot should have some kind of something in the software where it won't let you hang out in somebody else's blind spot. Or it won't let somebody else hang out in your blind spot. I would think that they want to put that into the software. It could really prevent a lot of accidents. Other people have both hands on the wheel. And they do? Out for They're the all lines. tense? And, and you're just a little bit with both hands on the phone. <laughs> oh, really? Uh oh, there's Jeff Bezos. Is he driving that truck? I don't think so. The Amazon truck? I can't hardly, I'm having a hard time focusing on this on the camera to see out the windshield. There's so much water going everywhere. We're really slowing down now, 44 miles an hour. That trucker was wearing a white beater. Really? I don't think it was Jeff Bezos. Oh, really? He doesn't wear those? I hope they waterproof this battery pack. I'm sure it, the car is going to look a lot cleaner after this drive. Alright, now we're about, i say like a mile from the turn. 1.7 miles it says on the screen, yep. From where we have to turn off. Well, we have to get over at least two lanes of traffic. Auto, you saw earlier, Navigator and Autopilot was not working. It didn't get me over. I sure hope it's going to get me over this time. And there's a lot of cars here. Oh, I can't barely even focus on the front here. It's not focusing. Sorry if you're having a hard time. It's raining even harder now. All right, I would think it's start getting me over. I don't think it's gonna do it again. I mean, Navigator Autopilot is on. Why isn't it working? I may have to suddenly get us over there on my own. It says we're one mile from the exit. And we have to get over at least two lanes of traffic. There goes one car in front of me. It waits till the last minute, as if, as if traffic Point eight miles. It's telling me to get off, but it's navigating autopilot is not getting me over. It's got to get me over now. I'm not to get it do myself. I'm gonna do it myself. Okay, this is not. It's not doing it. I'm gonna have to. I'm hitting the signal. All right, it's letting me over. Good. I'm gonna have to get over again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's it's gonna go in. Okay, that's good. Well, like we're it's like a parking lot here. Oh my gosh! This is crazy. But like I had to do it. Navigator autopilot is not working. Why is it not working? Yeah, but it's just not working. It's on. Yeah, maybe the weather conditions. That could be it. I guess that could be it, right? Because I've seen that on the screen before. I didn't see it pop up this time. But it says if weather, poor weather conditions, navigating an autopilot will be limited. I mean, I didn't see that, but that must be what happened. But it could obviously make the turns. Because I didn't make those turns myself. I just hit the signal and let, navigate, let autopilot make the turns, lane changes. So we can obviously do it. And those were not easy lane changes. In this kind of traffic. Now, is it going to go yeah, go to the road? Uh, okay, uh, uh, now it's telling me to take over. I guess it didn't know where we were. Poor weather detected navigator on a pilot. Unavailable, it says. Unavailable. You see that? I just zoomed in on the screen. So I guess maybe I didn't notice that when I first turned it on. But now it says unavailable. So that would explain why it didn't turn out of the lane the first time. So I guess it's never going to change lanes for me. 
but it's, it'll do everything else but change the lanes. Like we're seven miles an hour here. Wheel covers oh my gosh. In the bushes. Yeah, you want to go get that? You can sell that on eBay. All right, the rain has slowed down now, but so is the traffic. So I guess Navigator Autopilot is just totally not dependable. Anytime you got rain, I'd say. It's just not gonna do it. And it knows it's raining because the wipers are on, they keep going in front of these cameras, so it knows that it's raining. We've noticed that before. It I think on a previous video I made, it was just fine until I turned on the wipers. Like if you don't turn on the wipers, it will keep navigator autopilot on. And I've noticed that because navigator autopilot is available to me now, if the wipers do come on they will they will generally not wipe as fast as you're wanting them to but then once they do come on it'll just shut the whole system off it won't allow the automatic lane changes that's what I've noticed anyway and this is a Sunday by the way you can only imagine what it would be like on a weekday Trucks are just camping out, sleeping there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because there's a wide bird. Good place to get a nap. Yeah, so I figure anytime your wipers are on, just figure that Navigator Autopilot is not going to function for you, at least not with the way the software is right now. Which is weird because then when you click the lever to make the, for the computer to make the lane change, it does it anyway. It just won't do it without confirmation. Alright, this is a speed limit 65 area, it says. Everybody's still taking their time here. Well, if I want to get out of the fast lane, I'm going to have to make the lane change. Look at all this road spray. Barely see behind its tires. I thought this air, this part of the drive would be boring, but it's, it's raining so much. It's anything but boring now. You barely see where we're going. Isn't that fun when you can barely see where we're going? It's not fun. It's not exciting either. I can feel like Autopilot's having a hard time identifying that there's a vehicle in front of me. No, it does know it's there, but it's it's not like locked on it because it disappears with the road spray.
See, I'd figure that a navigator on autopilot was not going to work. They'd either keep that warning up here all the time, or they'd turn off the blue thing. It would they'd turn itself off. Because the way it is now, it, you think it's going to work. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's any indication that it's not going to work, other than the fact that the windshield wipers are on. Which is why I'm saying, if you got the windshield wipers on, just figure it's not going to... Just assume it's not going to work. That's what you have to do, because it's not telling us right now. Even if it told us before, if you didn't notice it or if you don't remember it, you, by looking at the screens, you'd have no idea that it, that it wasn't going to make the lane changes for you. This is Maryland 200, the inner county connector. That's where we are right now on 95. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you think that? Tesla should put something like remove the blue navigator autopilot some kind of indication that's permanent that it's not working let me know in the comments what you think because I definitely think they should do that they should add that improvement it's not that hard for them to do that out of this lane whoa whoa I don't know what there was nobody there I'm telling you there was nobody there there's still nobody there but I guess it, it thinks it raindrops or vehicles or something it's not sure what do you think Denise I think it got spooked. yeah was spooked with what what would spook it the sun's not out but, but I just panned the camera there was, there was nobody there I'm wondering about this, these cameras getting uh, obstructed view with rain, you know? Like, is that like a huge crutch for the camera system? Because it's all visual, right? Like, our eyes are, well, I mean, the wipers are, are clearing the vision for us, right? And the wipers are clearing the vision for these three cameras pointing forward, but there's no wiper on the outside for the other cameras. So is that creating a problem? Because in that situation, it was using all cameras that were not being wiped, that were not facing forward. So it may be that the debris in front of the cameras on the side and back cameras is a problem. Because like even on the front, if it's if you program the software was smart enough, if it realized it was debris in front of these cameras, it could just tell the windshield wipers to turn on and hit the the, the fluid, washer fluid, right? It could clean off clean it off and clean these three front cameras off but it can't do anything for the other cameras. There's nothing it can do. Yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think about potentially obstructing the view on these other cameras? Let me know what you think. I think that might be a serious problem for Tesla going forward. Just get a little dirt, bird poop or something, who knows what, you know? I mean, what's that gonna do to your autopilot? And how's it gonna know? Is it gonna tell you to go out and clean the camera? Stop the car, clean the camera? What if nobody's in the car? What if it's driving itself? It's not gonna be able to do that. Even if someone just puts a piece of tape over the cameras, it's gonna be the same thing.
down to 46 miles an hour again. People always drive 40 miles an hour on Interstate 95 and it rains. Well, at least all that pollen's off the windshield now. We have four miles so we need to get off the road. I'll need to make the lane changes. Whoa, look at this car just stop right there. Alright, I'm gonna start making the lane change again. Let's see if it can there's nobody in the way. Let's see if it can do it. Oh, it won't do it! Wait, it's doing it now. It's doing it. Okay, it's it had second thoughts, but it it did it. That's good. At least I got out of the fast lane. We have three and a half miles, so we have to get off the road. But it was it's definitely having a hard time with these lane changes on, on 95 here. I, it, amazingly, it didn't have a hard time on 495 when I had to make those two quick changes to get on the 95. But we were also not going anywhere near as fast when those changes were happening. We're definitely going faster now. And the heavy rain. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think the difference is here with these lane changes. If, that, if that's what it is or if it's something else you think. Now this person's going to cut us off. Oh, they're going over two lanes of traffic. What's that on the back of the camera? I think it's bits of rubber or something. See it? There's big black things on there. Like where did that? That wasn't even on there before. Are my tires shredding? I hope my tires aren't going to fall apart. I know that you know, I've got a problem with inside wear. I'm hoping I can get these tires to last till I go up to New Hampshire and get the adjustable bushings put on. Look out for a video on that. That will be happening soon. All right, 1.9 miles so to get off. I definitely don't want to have to get new tires before that work is done because if I get new tires before the work is done, that's a long drive and it's going to cause improper wear on a brand new set of tires. And by the way, if you don't know, all SNX cars pretty much have improper rear tire wear. They wear the insides dramatically quicker than the rest. So you have to get these adjustable bushings so you can get the camber set at zero. Because right now the camber is pointed outward and it's not adjustable. And because it's pointed outward, it wears the insides of the tires. They don't stand straight up and down, they stand angled. All right, 1.2 miles, I'm gonna try to, there's 
This could be a little, little tricky, but let's try it. Try getting over. All right, that worked. Oh, one mile, that's our exit. I did a pretty good job with the lane change. His last two changes were pretty good. But we're still going as fast, and we're still it's still raining pretty hard. So I'm not really sure why I didn't do it right before. Actually, this mark, see that black mark, Denise? That actually might be just a reflection of a raindrop. Yeah, maybe. Like, no debris at all. But these cameras, get they definitely get messed up with the water on them. I mean, you've been watching the rear view camera the whole time. You can see what the computer sees. All right, I gotta get off. Whoop. Get me off. Get me off. It won't. All right, I'm gonna have to do it manually. Whoa. Yeah, it's definitely having problems with the Navigator on autopilot right now. Definitely having problems. I need to stay on the left side. It won't do it for me. Here we go. Now, now we're okay. All right, well, that's just about the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts about what happened here. It's a long video, 37 minutes long. And I think I learned a lot here about the limitations of the system. Let me know what you think what needs to be improved, but it's definitely having trouble in heavy rain at, at high speeds on interstates with traffic. Whoa. So yeah, let me know what you think. And hit the, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Why?